of State House. My name is Joe Ageo, and in this interview, I will be joined by my colleague Lina Skaikai from Royal Media Services and Eric Latte from the Standard Media Group. And it's my colleague Lina Skaikai who is going to go with the first question of this interview. Thank you, Your Excellency. The hashtag out there is Ruto must go. Doesn't need much interpretation, does it? Protesters want you out of office. How do you respond to that? Everybody is entitled to their opinion. Um, I have a job to do. We are a country of uh, rules. Uh, we are a constitutional democracy. And um, citizens, because we all enjoy the freedom of speech, freedom of thought, uh, citizens are free to uh, engage in discourse that uh, um, they want to. Uh, but that is what it is. That is, those are the fruits and signs of a democracy. But this, that, is, that this is no ordinary discourse, Mr. President. Over 20 people are dead. 39 are missing through state-driven uh, abductions. And first, they're asking a very simple question. 24 people dead. Your Excellency, do you have blood on your hands? I have no blood on my hands. 19 people, to the record that I have from the security agencies, are dead. Very unfortunate. Um, as a democracy, that should not be part of our conversation. 2.4 billion of property has been destroyed. The office of the Chief Justice has been burnt. City Hall has been burnt. Parliament has been burnt. Let, that that let, is let, the let's, situation. Let's so lives. Let's we lives. have let, let's um, lives, your 19 let's people turn lives, dead. Your, your Excellency. We have 19 people dead. I said 24. Dead. You said 19. Let's stay on lives. And number two. Your Excellency. On abductions. Your Excellency. Let's stay on lives. There are people who are burying their children, whether they're 19 or 24. <laughs> and they're watching now, and they want to see how you feel about the deaths. Give us your feelings, Your Excellency. Let me tell and, you. And you could give examples, uh, Your Excellency. There is a 12-year-old boy, Kennedy, Kennedy Onyango from Rongai, whose mother narrated how his boy was basically just going to get books for his schoolwork. There is Rex Masai, who was shot in the middle of the street in Nairobi. And these are real human beings. Don't you feel a sense of responsibility for what is going on in the country? Let me tell you the following. Any life that is lost is something that must bother anybody beginning with myself. 